Hi there, welcome or welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I want to speak about high intensity training and why you should not do high intensity training if you want to lose weight. And under high intensity training, this is running as well as the high intensity workouts that I've been showing you on my channel. So if you haven't seen them, I'll put them up here. Yeah, go check them out. Most likely, if you want to lose weight and you start incorporating high intensity training, what you will notice is that you probably won't lose weight, you, but most likely you will gain weight. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why that is in this video. Most of the people have a smartwatch or a tracker for steps. I use mine mostly for steps as well as for my recovery and how active I am during the day. But most people use this watch more for the amount of calories that they burn during a workout. And this is something that I want to speak about because these watches are not very accurate. I mean, they maybe have like a little average of how much you burn during a certain exercise, but it will never be 100%. What is very important is that you don't look at the amount of calories that you burned on your watch. It is much more important to look at your heart rate zones. For example, if you want to lose weight, stay in heart rate zone one or two, which is a bit lower where you can still, most of the time you can still speak and have conversations. So think about walking, biking, strength training, anything that is low in your heart rate. As soon as you struggle to start speaking and have conversations, you know that you are probably in a higher heart rate zone, maybe three or four or even five. If you are in heart rate zone number five, I'm pretty sure you cannot speak because then you are hitting your maximum. So when it comes to fat loss, when you're already in a calorie deficit, which means that you are eating less calories than your body needs, you most likely feel already more hungry in general. On top of that, if you add high intensity workouts, after a high intensity workout, most likely you feel hungrier. But because you haven't had much food in the rest of the day, because you're already in a calorie deficit, means that you're probably over eat. This is a cycle that is usually very hard to break. So if you want to lose weight, I would not advise anyone to do running or high intensity training session. In fact, I would tell them not to do it unless they actually really enjoy running and high intensity training, or if they have a goal to just get fit and not really just want to lose weight. So I take myself as an example. I uh, started playing squash, so I need to play challenge matches and I'm playing league this year, which means that I need to be fit because squash is a very intense sport. You have to run from left to right to the court, from front to back. So I need to be fit. So even during my weight loss period, I did high intensity trainings because I one I enjoyed it because I think it's just fun to push yourself to the maximum and two I was also doing running because I also really like to run so that's why I did it but if you are someone that does not like to run does not like high intensity training but you want to lose weight do not even start doing it if you are someone that actually really enjoys high intensity training as well as running, I would say go for it, go do it, but just be very, very mindful that you might actually gain weight instead of lose weight. So if you are wanting to lose weight, even if you like running or high intensity training, I still would not suggest to do it just because you get extra hungry after your training and this might cause binge eating or overeating and that will definitely not help your weight loss. So it's actually funny, I was chatting, I had a client intake with a very lovely lady and actually one of the very first thing that she asked me was okay I want to lose weight so now I have to start running I told her no no and she's like oh oh whew, that's good to hear so I asked her do you like running and she was like no I really don't like running I'm like then you shouldn't do it if she said yes I would say okay we let's incorporate that into your schedule to make it sustainable that you can consistently hit two running sessions each week then it would be perfect to incorporate that into your weight loss journey but if you don't like like it do not start it because then you already know from the beginning that you're not going to continue doing it so why even start it because at the end of the day consistency is key so I would suggest if you want to start losing weight start with two or three if you can manage three perfect but start with two strength training sessions just work your muscles you don't even have to go to the gym in fact most of my clients have home workouts they do resistance training with bands with a few weights that they have they have a yoga mat and basically that's it that's already a great start just work your muscles and you will 
you will see, you will find that you will burn fat as long as you are in a caloric deficit. And if you don't know how to calculate your caloric deficit, send me a message. I'm more than happy to help you with that. Why would I say that don't go for runs and don't do high intensity training if you want to lose weight? It sounds a bit weird because on the internet you would see high intensity training for fat loss. That's not pretty particularly true. The thing is with high intensity workouts, you mostly at the moment itself, you mostly burn carbohydrates because you're very, very, very high in your heart rate. Afterwards, yes, you might burn fat, but it depends on what you eat, how much you eat. It's much easier to be in a caloric deficit, do exercises that you like, for two, three, four, five, in general, six months, consistently two or three times a week, stay in your caloric deficit and you will see huge differences. Plus you'll feel much better because you probably won't be in a too much of a deficit, which means you still have energy to do all your other things you'd like to do and to make it sustainable. Don't do high intensity training if you wanna lose weight. And here's why. If you run or you do high intensity training, you most likely will burn a lot of calories and your watch will tell you how much calories, but don't pay too much attention to your watch because it's not very accurate and the calories burned, you can't really eat those back because then you will not be in a caloric deficit because like I said, the watch is not 100% accurate. So don't fully trust your watch. Don't eat the calories back. Stick to your caloric goal. So for example, 1800 is your caloric goal. If you enjoy doing high intensity workouts or a run you can go for your run you can go for your workout but don't go over that caloric goal because at the end of the week or weeks or months you want to have a consistent caloric goal you want to do consistent workouts to make sure that you know exactly what you are doing that it actually works so if you're gonna switch up your calories switch up your workouts it's gonna be very difficult to know if you are indeed in a caloric deficit and if you are losing weight or not another thing after your run or high intensity workouts you usually feel quite hungry but because you're already in a caloric deficit this hunger might be even extra and if you are very hungry you're not very reasonable to think about getting nutritious food if you haven't prepped it in in the meantime or before your workout so you just make it a lot more difficult for yourself if you do decide to be in a caloric deficit plus do high intensity training i know it's very different from what they all say online but make a schedule make a rhythm for yourself that you can do consistently that it will be sustainable for six plus months that whenever you hit your weight loss goal that you can stick to the things you have been doing and you know how to keep it off because everyone can lose weight that's not that's not the difficult part to keep it off that is the difficult part and if you don't put the things in place while you are losing weight you will not be able to keep it off but if you really do enjoy taking your runs doing high intensity training I would definitely recommend doing it but just be very mindful of the fact that after your workout you might be very hungry and if you do want to lose weight try to focus on your caloric goal so if you don't like doing runs or high intensity training very simple solution is to just go for walks make sure that you hit your step goal for a day so for example i have a 10k step goal i try to reach that every single day i'm not doing it 100 perfectly but I usually i'm around 80 percent and that's all that matters and it's much more sustainable going for walks you can make a call you can listen to podcast if you feel like okay maybe the weather is not great you can even go for to the gym for a walk whereas for runs and high intensity training it's something Sometimes very hard to get yourself into that motivation state whereas in going for a walk is much easier for most people and accessible also pay attention of your heart rate zones if you walk you are in a lower heart rate zone zone one or two so you're already burning fat at the moment you are walking whereas if you are doing high intensity training or running you're most likely in a very high heart rate zone which means that at that moment in time you are not burning fat you most likely burn all your carbs that you've been eating afterwards yes you might be able to go and burn fat but it depends on what you eat and how much you eat so it makes it much more difficult just to sum it up in this video we've talked about why it isn't great or why i wouldn't advise you to run or do high intensity training if you want to lose weight and the simple reasons for that is that it might not be sustainable for you to hit those sessions consistently every week you might not like it and to do something if you want to lose weight and lose weight is already tough adding things on top that you don't like will be even more tough to do for that certain period you might be able to do it but then to sustain your weight that you've lost it might be very difficult because you've already pushed yourself so much to do it that you probably hate it so much that you won't 
continue to do it. If you want to lose weight, make sure to put things in place that you are able to do for a long term so that after you've lost the weight, you can keep it off. Plus, because you're already in a caloric deficit, you might already feel hungry. Plus, adding high intensity training will make you feel extra hungry. And if you are already feeling hungry, plus you're doing a training that makes you feel extra hungry and you haven't prepared any meals or anything, the chances of you overeating or binge eating is very big. And I would not want that for you. So just be very mindful when you do decide to do high intensity training or runs that you either have your meal prepped already or that you're just very strong mentally and that you can tell yourself, no, we're gonna stick to our caloric goal, we do this, but uh, let me tell you, it's just really, really hard. And being in a calorie deficit is already hard. So make it easier for you by adding things that you can do consistently and sustainably. That is basically the message that I wanna tell you about today. If you do have any further question or you want more information, please feel free to send me a message. I'm more than willing to help you.